Thank you for tuning in to the Wendy Inspire channel and for joining our happy VME village where everyone belongs. So no matter who you are, how you are, or what you are, you're safe here with us in our happy VME village. Today I want to share more about me. I get a lot of questions about me, about how I'm like this, why I'm like this, what made me like this, what inspires me. So when I get multiple questions, I like to just make a video for anyone else that may be curious. So I would say in the last few years, my life has drastically changed for the better. So one thing that caused a shift in my life is to really understand what is important in life. So once upon a time, I was very materialistic and it was all about money, making money. It was about status. It was about being pretty. It was about making sure that everything was perfect and the, you know, the best clothes and the shoes and the hair and all that. And that was my focus then. And then as I got a little bit older and a little bit more mature, I started to realize what really mattered in life. And what really matters in life to me is having a family who loves you, having good health, having the ability to provide. Most important, being happy. Now, people can achieve happiness many different ways, but when I had all the stuff, when I had all the fluff, it did not provide the type of happiness, the type of joy, the type of peace that I currently feel. Um, and it's a pretty consistent feeling, which is amazing. So I adopted a minimalist mentality, and I'm still working on that. And again, as I started to yield to the most high, things have changed. So I changed basically my hair, and it was something that I just wanted to do to show that I didn't have to follow what everyone else was doing, but I did it more so to show myself self-love. That's the main reason why I chose to lock my hair, because I was trying to fit in this standard box of beauty. And I didn't realize that I create the standard box of beauty. You create the standard box of beauty. They create the standard box of beauty. There's no one standard, so we don't have to you know, buy something that belongs to someone else and put it on ourselves to know that we're beautiful. So I'm grateful for that deliverance. Also something else that I did to kind of help to improve my life for the better is I started to really read my Bible. You know, I attend church and I have a great pastor and the, pa the pastor preaches and teaches, but if you really think about it, the pastor who preaches and teaches, they only teach a small portion. You only spend a small portion of your life in church. So when you're home, what are you doing to help to nurture your spirit? And that's what I started to do. I started to really read the word for myself. And as I started to discover things that I felt were best for me, I started to make changes. And as I started to make changes, things just got easier. So I just wanted to share a little bit about my journey. It wasn't always this way. It wasn't always this easy. But again, as I started to realize what is really important in life, as I started to yield to the most high, as I started to really focus on experiences over just spending money, just, you know, I just spent money all the time. And now it's even more rewarding to have that money and to help someone else. So instead of buying this, maybe I can help pay someone's electric bill, or maybe I can be a blessing in another way, but to just realize how connected we all are and how the little things that we do to help someone makes a big difference. So if I cut back a little bit, maybe I can help someone else. So I just wanted to share a little bit about myself as far as what brought me here, um, the things that I have been doing to help me sustain happiness, and that is you know, listening to motivational music, TV, inspirational people. I have a nice circle of people who are very inspirational, encouraging, positive, and that was also a big change in my life when I knew the people who were toxic and the people who weren't. So the people who were constantly pulling, tearing me down, breaking me down, the people who didn't allow me to truly be me or to truly shine bright were the people that I had to leave at that position. So 
it's okay to walk away. It's okay to learn and grow. Uh, in closing, you know, that saying that friends or people come for a reason, season, or lifetime. And that's what I'm learning, that some people are here for a reason. They're here to teach me something. I'm here to teach them something. Some people are here for a season. They're here for a little while. And some people are here for a lifetime. So you're here for a reason to teach me something or I'm here to teach you something. You're here for a season, which is a short period of time or a long period of time. And some people are here for a lifetime. So whatever that person is supposed to serve in your life, allow them to serve that purpose and know that it's okay if they do in fact walk away because you got what you were supposed to get or they received what they were supposed to receive and then you just keep on moving. So I just wanted to share a little bit about me. If you have something that you wanna share about you, please leave a comment in the section below. And thank you so much for our subscribers and our villagers. We're now at 536 subscribers and that's thanks to your support. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for your prayers. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already done so, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for tuning in to the Wendy Inspired channel and for joining our Happy b, b Village where everyone belongs. I'll see you next time on Special Thursday. See you later.